We have a bit of controversy for you today, folks. Ooh, some juicy drama. Yes, indeed. We have the story about how I got my first ban ever from a Twitch streamer's channel and blocked by them on Twitter. Sounds juicy indeed. I thought you called yourself wholesome. Why are you giving us bills a bad name? It's a long story, but it all started with a Kobe. For our viewers, a Kobe is a term for unhooking yourself in dead by daylight. We're going to have a separate video for you to watch if you want to see the entirety of the events unfold for yourself. This video is broken up into three parts. First, why we're making the video. Second, how the math actually works. Probability and statistics, for sure, dude. Lastly, actual real world game testing to attempt to back up the math. That sounds very incorrect. But first, let's do a little analogy so you know how unhooking yourself works in terms of probability and statistics, dude. Okay, let us hear it, smarty pants. Hit me with that science. Um, math? Whatever. Let's say I give you a coin with heads and tails, and to win, you need to flip it and get it to land on heads. I think we can all agree the odds of you winning are, Bill? Come on, 50%. We all know that. Okay, well, let's say I give you six tries to flip it, and you need to get heads on one of those six tries to win. What are your odds that you will get heads on at least one of those six tries? Well, I'm no rocket science or I mean rocket mathematician, but I would imagine that the odds are greater than 50% since I get six tries. Well, you're right. In fact, the odds that you will flip a heads in at least one of the six times is 98%, rounding down. You're gonna have to explain that. We'll cover the math calculations later. This analogy is very relevant because the maximum luck you can get in DBD is around that 50% mark. So why are we making a video about luck? Hasn't this already been covered? It has, it is nothing new, but not a lot of people understand why it is so OP. So it all started on a Tuesday night. I was playing some Survivor with a friend, and while in queue, I try to go in and make some small chat with someone and then lurk. This streamer happened to be hooked at the time. They had used the Salty Lips offering and unhooked themselves as another person was coming to save them. This self unhooking reminded me of a fun build that me and some friends ran a few nights prior where all four players on the team run all luck perks and all offerings to maximize luck. We're gonna get into the fine details in just a little bit, but first, let's take a look at some of this streamer's comments on the subject after I brought up the meme build. Hi, Rupture, how you doing? How's it going? I'm a do it's white, I'm a salty lips. I did, I salty lips! Came in and was like, survivors have a 98% chance to unhook themselves. And I was like, no, let me Google that for you. No, that's wrong. Yeah, that's yeah they have a 98% chance. <laughs> like, yeah. probability and statistics, for sure, dude. It's 98%? Um, I don't think you have that right. If you have 4% each unhook over 3, that's more than a 4% chance. It's a 4% chance every time. If you have 3 chances at a 4%, or if you have 6 chances at a 4%, it's still a 4% chance. It doesn't just increase. It's, it's false. <laughs> that is incorrect. If it was 98%, everybody would run that. So that's it's definitely not 98%. I don't think you understand. That sounds very incorrect. Did, did you not just listen to why it's not? You don't get 98% each chance. You get 98% across all six chances. Um, no. There you go. All I have to do is literally Google it. And that's incorrect as well. Like, I literally just Googled it. I don't know where you're getting this 98% from. I don't understand... I don't know where you're getting a 98% from. That's still not 98. I don't I don't know where your I don't know where your math is going wrong, but that's incorrect. I don't know what to tell you. Google it. <laughs> Google it yourself if you're trying to figure it out, but and I'm literally googling up extra facts to show you, so I don't know where you're getting a 96 or a 98 or whatever 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 incorrect number you're getting. Like I don't know what to tell you. Like the math is there. This isn't like an opinionated statement. I don't understand in my five and a half years of playing Dead by Daylight. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you. That apparently if you ran all the luck things that it's a 98% chance you'd unhook yourself, which we just Googled. <laughs> that's, that's, that's wrong. <laughs> that's not how you run probabilities. You know, when they have a number on something, like sure, you can look at that number, but when you're talking about luck, you can't really put a number to luck in any video game because it's just that, it's luck. Uh, you're, you're <laughs> it's math, it's not a right or wrong thing. It's just like you're, it's not an opinion, it, like it's factual evidence. There's facts that explain how this works. So like, I don't know how other else to word this that you would understand. Like, I wanna see your scientific explanation of, of all the percentages. I feel like they said that just to like start an argument or something. That's not, that's not in the game. 
Whoa, whoa. I've not seen someone so condescending to you since I first showed up on your stream. Thanks. Like, I need a reminder on how you treat me. Exclamation mark skill check. I particularly like how she is so dismissive when you were arguing that 90, it's not 98% each attempt, but rather 98% over all six attempts. No, let me Google that for you. No, that's wrong. Yeah, yeah they have a 98% chance. <laughs> like... But you know, like they said, your luck doesn't just magically increase after each attempt, which they are correct. Your luck is the same throughout all six attempts. Let's take a look at the DVD luck mechanics. Luck only affects a survivor's self-unhook chance. It no longer affects escaping bear traps. It also does not increase your chance of finding a rare item in chests. There is one perk that will increase your self-unhook to 100%. That is deliverance. After that, there are a few other perks that affect luck. Slippery Meat is one of them. It increases your luck by 4%, but most importantly in this probability calculation is the fact that it gives you three additional attempts, as these extra attempts are what get you an almost guaranteed chance to unhook yourself. Now, max luck isn't necessary to make this viable, but for the sake of this episode, we are focusing on max luck. So we'll also need the perk up the ante. This perk gives you an extra 3% increase on luck for each teammate that is still alive. That's an additional 9% luck. Note that this perk does stack, so if all four survivors run it and are alive, then you get an additional 36% luck. Then we have Vigo's Salty Lips. This offering gets you another 3% luck. Stack that times four and you have 12% more luck. And this all together with our base luck of 4%, and we come up with a whopping 56% luck. Given that we get six attempts, even changing the max luck to something like 33% is still over a 90% chance to unhook yourself. We did some testing, which we will show you later. For now, we're gonna assume there is no luck cap, so we will work with the 56% luck number. Now, we will need to get into the actual probability math. Hold on to your seat, Bill. I'm taking over from here. If our viewers don't care about math, make sure you at least catch the unhook montage later on in the video, or visit Rupture's Twitch stream sometime and ask him to play it. Um, no. For the sake of DVD, we're going to work with the fact that you need at least one success in six tries, with the probability of success for each try being 56%, which is our estimate of what max luck is, and one we've tested in over 100 trials. There are calculators and websites out there that do binomial probability distribution in just a few buttons, but we're going to break it down for you. To calculate your chance of getting at least one success in six tries, we must calculate the probability of getting each outcome that would satisfy your requirements of getting at least one success. When dealing with binomial probability, a true-false condition, and dealing with six trials, a success can be one out of six, two out of six, three out of six, all the way to six out of six being successful. This is represented by P1 plus P2 plus P3 all the way through P6, as we see in this equation. That sounds very incorrect. Now to the fun stuff. To calculate each of these six things, you need to know the formula for binomial probability. It's the probability of X successes is equal to N factorial over X factorial times N minus X factorial times P to the power of X times one minus P to the power of N minus X. We have to remember the order of operations with parentheses as well. As for the variables, n is the total number of trials, p is the probability of success, and x is the number of successes you are calculating for. And we will replace those with our variables. In our equation, n will always be six since we are working with sli slippery meat, which grants six tries. And p will always be 0.56 since we are dealing with 56%, our estimated max luck. We start with p1 and plug our numbers into the formula, and we get this. The probability of only getting one success is 6 factorial over 6 minus 1 factorial times 1 factorial. This is multiplied with 0.56 to the power of 1, then multiplied with 1 minus 0.56 to the power of 6 minus 1. So let's simplify the three parts. The first part ends up being 720 over 120. 720 divided by 120 is six. The next part is just 0.56 because it's to the power of one, so nothing changes. The last part ends up being 
0.44 to the power of 5, which comes out to 0 0.0165 if we round. Now that we have simplified all three parts, we can multiply all three parts together and you get 0 0.05544, or more simply, 5.44%. Now all this means is there is 5.44% chance in six trials that you would get exactly one success if your odds are 56% to succeed. That means all other five attempts were false or failed. Now we have to move on and calculate the same for exactly two successes, three successes, and so on. Just like we did for P1, we take the formula and replace X with our successes we are calculating for, which this time is two. Replace N with six and replace P with 0.56, giving us this formula. Starting with this, we simplify down the three parts like we did before. We have 720 over two factorial times four factorial, which is 48. 720 divided by 48 is 15. The second part is 0.56 to the power of two, which is 0.3136. And the third part is 0.44 to the power of four, which is 0.0375, rounding. Multiply all three of these together and you get 0.1764 or 17.64%. This means the odds of getting exactly two successes in six attempts is 17.64%. We continue this same thing using the formula and plugging in our variables all the way till we calculate for exactly six successes in six tries. We're gonna just fast forward. I've gone ahead and done the calculations for the rest. Once we've done this all the way to P6, you simply add them all together. Now, as you can see, the final tally, 99.274%. I did the calculations with a bit higher decimal precision, meaning if you have a 56% chance to succeed and you get six tries, your odds of succeeding in at least, keyword there, at least one of your six tries is 99.274%. Let's just say 99%. Now I just made a handy spreadsheet here just to show you some quick theory and how this would work with different perks and player combos. Let's say you are flying solo and you run this yourself. You get 4% base plus 4% from Slippery Meat plus 9% from Up the Annie and three from Vigo's Salty Lips. This comes to 20% luck. So let's pop that into here and see. Wow, as you can see, just running this solo, you could unhook yourself three out of four games roughly. Now let's say you're doing this in a duo. This means you'd get an extra 9% from their up the ante and another three from their salty lips, bringing the odds per attempt to 32%. Let's plug that in. Look at that jump. Now you're sitting at 90%. That just means you could unhook yourself nine out of 10 games, statistically speaking. Let's say you got, two, got rid of your salty lips and just had the perks. So we'll take away 6%. That puts us at 26% luck. Put that into the sheet and we'll see our overall odds of unhooking is around 83%. Or to round, you could say you could unhook yourself four out of five games. Now let's take away the slippery meat perk, which gives you 4% and also gives you the three extra chances. With a duo game with just salty lips and up the ante, that's 25% luck. But we need to look at the three attempts chart. You can see now this is only around 58% or roughly three in five games. Let's say you have a full swift with up the ante and salty lips. That is 52% since you're missing the 4% from slippery meat and you only get three attempts. So you can see that gives you roughly 89%. So almost nine out of 10 games with a full team and one perk and one offering each. But nothing beats the full team with both perks and the offering put that 56% in and boom. Look at that six attempts chart since we are using slippery meat again. And there it is, the 99.27%. Yeah, they have a 98% chance. <laughs> Let's look at some stats from live game testing we did using max luck with four survivors running everything. Now this is the 99% chance build. Again, assuming there isn't a hidden cap. We played 30 games, that's 120 hooks. I kid you not, all 120 hooks had successful self unhooking. Not a single person went to struggle phase. Looking at these numbers, you can see that only two hooks out of the entire 120 hooks had the survivor make it to the sixth attempt. There you go. That is less than 2%. You can see that almost half the hooks were successful on the first attempt, 48%. So is our math wrong? Wouldn't the first attempt be closer to 56%? 
Well, maybe, but with our small sample size, we're probably within standard deviation range, but we're not gonna dive into that. There, that's a perfect explanation. It's safe to say your math was right, and that other streamer was a bit too high and mighty with their whole five and a half years in a math degree argument. Pretty cool that you got your first ban from just making a comment on a meme build. Yep, chalk one up on the board. It was fun doing experiments and research into luck. I never questioned the math to begin with, but it was fun making this video. Huge shout out to all the people that helped out with that. We have a great community. Check out this montage of the game footage that we made. Don't forget to go watch the entire reaction video if you want to see the full thing. We'll have a link in the description down below. Also let us know if you like this episode and you want to see more content surrounding DVD mechanics and what subject you would like us to cover. All you have to do is literally Google it. I'm your host, Bill Overbeck. And I'm Rupture. All probability and statistics, dude. We'll see you next week. Thank you.